when performing measurement, be warned that inexpensive DMMs may demonstrate effect of so-called complementary resistance. Normally, if you short the probes, the LCD should read 0 ohms. However, a cheap multimeter, as we can see, displays a different value, which depends on a number of factors, most importantly, the quality of wires used as probes. In practice, it's often necessary to differentiate between a real short circuit and a low resistance circuit. For example, the normal impedance of a video card processor, GPU, ranges from 3 to 8 ohms. But if it's below this value, the GPU is probably dead. You won't be able to tell it, however, if your DMM adds another 10 ohms to the actual value. So, before doing such measurements, make it a rule to first short the probes and find out your device's complementary resistance, and then test your circuit, considering the error value. If your multimeter has the rel function, you can use it to rule out the error.